Hello, my dear YouTube students and viewers. Welcome to my channel, Scorpio Class. So today in this video, we are going to discuss the question and answers of Class 8 English poem, Palanquin Bearers. And this poem was written by Sarojini Naidu. And if you want the complete explanation of this poem, it has already been uploaded in my channel. And the link of the video will be shared in the description box. And, I'll, and I will also share it in the i button above. So that you can go to the link, watch the complete explanation of the poem, and then also watch the question and answers. So let's move ahead, students, and let's quickly see the question and answers of this poem. But before that, if you are viewing my video for the first time, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notifications of all the upcoming videos. And also hit the like button if you like it. Okay. And let's move ahead and let me remind you about the Scorpio Class Hindi channel too. That we have come up with this channel and in this channel you are going to find Hindi lessons explanation and question and answers video, complete notes and the grammar videos of class 8, 9 and 10. So again for the link of this channel you will have to visit the description box and find the link and subscribe to the channel and also share it with your friends. I also shared this link in the i button above also for you all and do visit the description box once because there are many more things for you all so keep checking the description box of the videos. So now let's move ahead students and look up the question and answers. So it was a very short form and there are a few question answers of this form so let's quickly revise it and discuss it. So first one is answer the following in one or two sentences each. First question under this is Pick out the words from the poem which describe the movement of the bride. So the words are sway, skim, float, spring and glide. So these are the words which describes the movement of the bride. Okay, so this is your answer. Now moving to second question. How do the palanquin bearers carry the bride? Answer. The palanquin bearers carry the bride carefully and gently okay carry the bride carefully and gently moving to next question why do you think the palanquin bearers are carrying the palanquin lightly answer the palanquin bearers are carrying the palanquin lightly because they do not want to hurt the bride by moving roughly they carry her along with a lot of care Okay, so let's move to the next question. What are the emotions that the bearers feel as they carry the palanquin? And the answer is, the palanquin bearers feel happy and sing the song as they carry the palanquin. Okay, so the emotions are happiness and with happiness and joy they sing the song. So this is what the answer. Let's move to the next question. Yeah. Why is the bride compared to a flower and a bird? Answer. The bride is compared to a flower as she is beautiful and to a bird as she is delicate. Next question. Explain the image in she sways like a flower. Okay. That means what does it mean? And answer is the bride in the palanquin moves from one side to other as the bearers walk. It looks as if a flower is swinging from side to side in the gentle breeze. Okay, next. Why is the bride referred to as a pearl on a string? Answer, the bride is referred to as a pearl on a string because she is precious. Okay, next. Why has she been compared to a star? Answer, she is compared to a star because she is a darling to all and is the center of attraction to all. Okay. Next question, why do you think the poetess has to use two contradictory feelings of love in the fourth line of first stanza and tear in the second line of the third stanza? Okay. Contradictory means opposite ideas, love and tear. So answer is, the bride brings different emotions to the people around her. She brings happiness to her in-laws 
whereas tears in the eyes of her parents as she departs them to move to her in-laws place okay at start she is happy because she is going to set up her new life and at the end she is sad because she has to leave her parents and go to a new place okay so this is how you can write the answer now let's move on to the next question why do the palanquin bearers sing why carrying the bride what do you think this song is about so answer is the palanquin bearers feel happy in carrying the bride this song depicts the indian tradition and the moods of people involved in it okay so that means the mood is happy if you are happy then only you sing a song right so this it's depicting the moods of the people also so this is the answer and now let's move to the next one the poem is full of similes why do you think the poet has used many similes in the poem okay so before writing the answer what do you mean by similes now similes are the figure of speech is used in the poems to make it more interesting okay and similes are the figure of speech where you do the direct comparison between two things you use the word as and like so there are many comparisons done here a comparison is done to a bird to a flower to a star right so these are similes so now why has poet done this so let us see answer the poet uses so many similes to emphasize the beauty and the emotions of the bride okay so to emphasize to give the importance to the beauty and emotions of the bride there are many similes used in the poem so moving to next one pick out the rhyming words from the poem and mention the rhyme scheme so the rhyming words are a long song tied bright stream scream and sing and string okay so these are the rhyming schemes i mean rhyming words now what's the rhyming scheme of the stanza it's a a and b b okay so all the three stanzas have the same rhyme scheme a a and b b means first two lines are same it's rhyming and then third and fourth line is rhyming with them again in the second stanza it's the same thing and third stanza the same thing so we have rhyme scheme of a a and b b next one pick out the examples of alliteration from the poem okay so now what is alliteration let us see first so alliteration is again a figure of speech a different kind of figure of speech here you see that most of the words like more than one word in the sentence usually starts with the same letter okay for example you can see here gaily oh gaily we glide and we sing so you see the word gaily the letter g is the starting letter of the word okay and when glide g is the starting letter so we have three words starting with the same letter g so it is alliteration okay in the similar form second sentence we have softly oh softly we bear her along so s softly s is repeated so it's alliteration here then third line she sways like a flower in the mind of our song so here s is repeated she sways song okay so s is the starting letter which are same in one sentence so these are the examples of alliteration hope it is clear now next let's move to the next question some words and lines are repeated in the poem work in pairs and list the words and lines that are repeated why do you think the words are repeated okay so here we see in the poem that there are many words and lines which are repeated again and again so we have to find out and we have to also say why have been those words and lines repeated so answer is lightly or oh lightly we bear her along here lightly word is repeated right then gaily or oh gaily we glide and we sing softly or oh softly we bear her along we bear her along like a pearl on a string so this sentence this whole sentence is repeated twice in the poem so you see this these are the examples which are repeated sentences in the poem now why do you think these are repeated so the answer is the words and lines are repeated to make it more rhythmic 
and add effect to the meaning of the words okay to make your poem more rhythmic more tunic and more interesting these lines and words are repeated by the poets so with this we come to an end with the question and answer session i hope i made all the answers clear and you liked it if you like the video and you found it interesting do hit the like button and also subscribe my channel also subscribe copy class in the channel and stay tuned for more such videos thank you